The choice to drink and drive puts our loved ones at risk. The Kia Magic Netball team wanted to find out and share what effect drunk drivers have had in their community. My husband actually had a car accident at the age of 19. Um, he wasn't drunk, but he was affected. He was tired and had a drink and fell asleep, broke his neck. So my husband is a high-level tetraplegic and we live with disability every day. So yes, it affects, it affects our family, immediate family, and also the extended family and friends. When I was at high school, um, there was this big party on and I swear everyone got the text and it was hundreds and hundreds of people there. And it ended up that some guy got in his car and drove and he ended up hitting two people and I think, I can't remember who, how many people died, but I do know a lot of people died and they were friends from my school's friends and how it affected everyone. Like I still remember that day at school, that next day at assembly and how everyone like just had tears in their eyes because it, it was so like, nah, it can't have happened to that person, like it, it hit home. I was um, 15 years of age, I was um, working on a farm and I just had my weekend off and I um, was out partying, went out partying with my mate and I um, fell asleep in the back seat of the car and I gave him the keys to the car and I said, are you right to drive? And he says, yes, I'm not drinking. And I fell asleep in the back seat of that car and I woke up two days later in hospital, um, had a power pole at 180 k's, um, broke my back. Um, they, uh, they lost me three times on the way to hospital in the helicopter and that was just because of um, drink driving. And so if, um, I can say to anyone or anybody, it's not worth it. Go to sleep, have a sleep in the back of your car. Just leave it, it's not worth it. Protect your whānau by driving sober and reduce the risk.